Kwashi Interchange. Tata Kwashi is the father of Ghana Kako. He traveled to Fernando Po, uh, the present Equatorial Guinea. When coming back, uh, history or legend has it that he swallowed a cuckoo. How he is able to get it out, I can't tell. But I would say that he did not, he hid the seed within because he was a blacksmith. He hid it within his uh, tools. So when he came back, he actually hailed from Osu in Accra. But when he tried to plant the tree, the topography of the soil in Osu was not conducive for the growth of the cocoa. So the first one died. So he quickly traveled to a town called Mampong, which is on the Kapim Hill, just around Tutu. From Tutu, you go to Mampong. From there, he decided, and then he grew very well and set up the first cocoa farm in Mampo. And that is what has turned the fortune of Ghana around when we became the first producer, the world number one producer of cocoa until the late 70s and early 80s, when the cocoa industry in Ghana was attacked by swollen shoot and therefore they have to cut most of the cocoa and also that that makes it Ivory Coast overtaking us and over the years we've been trying to take our position but it never happened yet but we hope soon but between the Ivory Coast and Ghana we supply 60 percent of the world consumption of cocoa uh, that's what I'm saying. 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 I